Uh, I'm Peter Bush, I'm the VP of Business Development for Facebook Technologies and Image Metrics. Image Metrics is a technology that basically uses video as an input mm -hmm. and can analyze the motion on someone's face and then do a variety of things with that. So um, we have um, mobile augmented reality apps that basically are applying effects to your face, so virtual face paint, virtual makeup. We did an app with L'Oreal called Makeup Genius. It's mm -hmm. in over 46 countries and 35 million downloads. Uh, and then an app with Nissan called Die Hard Fan that's doing like virtual team face paint. Mm -hmm. um, but it's basically using the motion of your face to keep those effects very similar to a Snapchat filter. Okay. Um, and being able to basically we license that technology to app developers to basically create these new experiences. And then on the other side, we have a company called Faceware Technologies. So Faceware basically uses that same technology but has a whole product line that basically allows animators to create content in VR and AR, um, animated content, but using that same uh, technology. So it's all built around Cortec that came out of University of Manchester back in the late 90s. Not only detect where the face is, we can track how it moves. So we use the features of your face to basically recognize where your face is on every frame of video. Okay. And then we can extract the motion over time and then map that to uh, a variety of different things. So you kind of have this data that's streaming in real time. And then we're basically taking that data and then creating kind of augmented effects or makeup that goes over your face and it looks like it's sticking onto your face. I mean, this tech would arguably, you know, it's going to work well on a chimpanzee. So it's the tech is looking for a human face, right? So as soon as it sees it in that video, it's going to lock onto that. Now, the difference between how it tracks your face and how it tracks my face. It'll work well. You basically can calibrate the tech to work specifically to you, and then it's looking for your face. Mm -hmm. And now if you walk away and then I walk in front of it, it's going to assume my face is your face, and it'll do a pretty good job keeping up with it because our faces are constructed in a similar fashion. So we're actually having to uh, clamp down the tech and, and kind of handcuff it a little bit because mm -hmm. of the nature of the device. We're actually capturing a lot more information in real time than mm -hmm. the, de the devices right now, even as fast as they're becoming, are still not able to do. So with every new generation of phone that comes out, out and mobile device, the processing power, you get a little bit more horsepower and a little bit more rendering capability so we can kind of unlock those handcuffs a little bit and start to do more and more and more. So it's an exciting time because what we can do now is pretty impressive and pretty fun. Um, but you know, you think two, three years down the line where you know the next two, three, four generations of phones are going to be, that's going to be really uh, incredible what you're going to be able to do. You know, we get interesting inquiries every year. Uh, we get a plastic surgeon that comes by that wants to basically pre-visualize your cosmetic surgery before you yeah. do it. Um, we had a hospital came by that in healthcare they wanted to show you what you would look like with a certain health condition. So if you continue to smoke, your teeth are going to turn yellow and your skin's going to look really bad. So the idea of using visualization as a kind of a learning tool is really interesting. Um, but the whole market research side of things and emotion recognition and what what is this person feeling, being more and more accurate with that, so you can provide that back to back to brands and figure out if this particular ad space is effective or what are people paying attention to. You know, it's, it's a fairly commoditized space, but it's, um, I still think it's the tip of the iceberg of what we can do.